Hey, Sam from SK here. Sorry about my bike jersey. I've been trying to get those uh, last minute miles in the cold weather. I'm gonna do a very brief, almost tutorial-like vlog today. Something super simple. How to get the correct ratio if you don't have a scale. The scale, honestly, is a very cheap and awesome investment. You can get a, one from Hario, I think, for like $35 on Amazon. Highly recommended, but if you don't want to do it and you don't have time or you don't care, that's totally fine. Here's how to do it. So I'm going to give you a recipe for two people. So two full 16 ounce cups of coffee or roughly that amount. Again, this is not going to be perfectly exact, but it'll be darn close to a 1 to 16 ratio. That's one part coffee to 16 parts water. Take seven tablespoons of coffee, sort of heaping tablespoons for whole bean because there's a lot more air mixed in that mound, or flat tablespoons for ground coffee. That'll equal to about 56 to 60 grams of coffee. In terms of water, make sure your kettle, whatever you use, electronic or uh, stovetop, make sure it's empty. Then measure out four cups or one quart of water. Perhaps add about 5% extra because some of that will evaporate as it heats up. Then add the cups of water or quart of water into either a stovetop kettle or an electric kettle. Heat it up. Add the grounds into your brewing mechanism and pour over. And there you go. Got a really nice cup. Super simple. Uh, should be enjoyable. Now. If you find that the coffee is too weak to your liking or a little bit too strong, add or subtract water from that mix. Maybe add three and a half cups or four and a quarter cups or something like that. That's where your personal preference can allow for a little experimentation. Go out, give that a try, experiment a little bit, like and subscribe to our channel and uh, click that little bell icon. I think it gives you notifications every time we upload a vlog, which we're doing every Friday. Again, thank you and enjoy.